What's up guys, welcome to the Komar Project and on this channel I show you how you can make and build stuff all by yourself. Today I'm going to be installing some slides onto drawers and cabinets and I'm going to show you a couple of problems that I ran into and how I fixed them. So stick around and check it out. Can you believe it Thor? Oh, that was so gross and he's still here. My God. <laughs> All right guys, so here are some cabinets that I'm installing. I've already installed the drawers into these cabinets. Not bad for somebody that's never done a cabinet. And then right there, we got a cabinet that needs some drawers. Let's hope they fit. Because some of the other ones didn't. But I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Too big or too small, we can fix it. All right guys, so right here we have a cabinet that is 29 and 1/8. It was supposed to be made at 29 and one quarter. Measure twice, cut once, right? Then, yeah. And I made the drawer that goes inside of it 28 and one quarter. Thus meaning that I am a quarter of an inch short. In order to fix it, we need this drawer that is 28 and one quarter to be 28 and one eighth. Now, I'm not gonna take a whole eighth off of the entire drawer. But what I can do is line up where my slide is going to go and then just plane one eighth of an inch. And at that point, you don't have to shrink the entire cabinet just where the slide goes. So hopefully that's gonna work. I don't know, but it should. Theoretically. All right, so my slide will go right there. But what we want to do is cut out. Cut out three inches, which is the size of my planer. Right down this way, so let's measure that out. I got a pencil. Since my slide will be an inch and a half off the bottom of the cabinet, that's where it's gonna start, we are gonna start cutting our groove, our 1 8 deep groove at one inch. You just take your combination square and mark an inch in. So you can also mark the opposite side of it, but it's not necessary since you're going to be referencing one line. This is the groove that we're going to be cutting out one eighth of an inch deep, and our slide will go right in there. Cross your fingers. Yeah, I'm going to try that. I'm going to put this big old anvil right inside of there. Kind of keep it steady as I play. Okay, since I've never used this thing before, I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> I'm gonna start it with a 164 cut. It blew out. It's not a huge issue. Since this will be veneered, or it will be in the back. If you do that, maybe you should start this way, and then this way, or you put a sacrificial piece back here. So that was one pass. Sweet. All right, and I think we're good. So we have our groove. Whatever you want to call it, cut. Now let's start installing the slides and see what happens. An easy way of lining up your slides, I found, is just use a regular old carpenter's square. Take one side of the carpenter's square, put it against the face of the carcass of the cabinet, and the other one, well, that's gonna be your line where you're gonna put your slides. And we do the same on the other side. Then I take a scrap piece of wood, tack it on with brad nails or pin nails onto the carcass, sit your slide on top of it, screw it into place. Simple as that. Must have screws. See, it'll even stay there for you. It's gonna fall now. Sorry guys, I gotta get my fat butt in here. You can do four screws. And we'll just take this off. So I have my half inch spacers that I'm going to set down on the toe kick. Try to put this thing in. I don't know, I'm just going to try. Going in. Oh, 
pull our spacers out. Where are they at? Come on, Shunny. Cabinet. To do the top drawer, it's the same exact thing, except. It's gonna use a little bit of a bigger spacer. And that is all. Technically, you don't even have to nail that thing in. Let's say your drawer is too small. All you have to do is just take a couple of washers, put them right behind the slide on the face of the cabinet, and you just bought yourself a 16th, maybe even an 8th, depending on how thick your washer is and depending on the need of your cabinet or your drawer. I don't know, but you guys get the gist. Nah, I said gist. Oh my god! <sighs> right before drill. I hate army text messages. Yeah, next week, no beard. Pull that out. Easy breezy, beautiful cabinet. One more time. Much better. Much, much better. Boom. And that, guys, is how easy it is. Get yourself a nice drawer. Closes very easily. And all you have to do is shave a little bit off the side. Everybody loves a little shave on the side. Like, haircut wise. But yeah, that's it. Now let's install the rest of these cabinets and be done for the night. That is such a good feeling. Even he likes it. Oh, mwah. Crazy how you can get excited over drawers. <laughs> this is the last one. Last one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. And that's it for it. I can't believe I'm done with the bottom part. Drawer, can you believe it? No. He can't believe it either. I need some handles because I'm not Spider Man and I have like a web. I wonder if there's a sound effect. Spidey web! Not working. I need a handle. Let's go make a handle. A temporary one though. Because I got something cool in mind when it's all done.
<laughs> and now it's time to put some stuff in there. I wonder what I'm gonna put in there. Tools, I could do drills, screws, glue, clamps, saws, nails, maybe even dog food, I don't know. It's only fitting to put my favorite tool in there as the first tool. That's the way it should be, right? It's not a tool. Use it the most, put it first in there, because you're gonna use it the most. I'm babbling, but. I love you, Band-Aids. You're so soft. Love you, Mr. Band-Aid. I'm done for today. So there you go, guys. Drawers have been installed. It's not always easy as it looks, but there's always a way of getting around the problem that you're facing. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, put that down below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for joining me on my experience. I'll see you guys next time.